Well, hi again, YouTube. Here we are back out in the shop, and uh, it's been a while. I've had a lot of uh, uh, on-site work, so I've not been here in the shop very much. It's kind of gotten out of hand, but uh, that's, that's the story for another day. Uh, today, I was kind of changing up the van, and uh, I thought I'd take the chance to talk to you about uh, some tools, and specifically, uh, this time, we're going to talk about the, the Skill Miter Saw, Skill 10-inch, uh, what is it, Skill 10-inch Dual Bevel Sliding Compound Miter Saw. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think that's it. Uh, but anyway, there's, uh, there's absolutely uh, nothing remarkable about this saw. It is very traditional. It's a design that's been around for uh, years, uh, but I have to say it's also a very effective design. And at uh, 200 bucks, 220 bucks, uh, what was it? I, I just checked it. Uh, 225, I think. Um, it, it's. I have to say it's phenomenal. It it does the job. It's reliable. Uh, once you get it set up, it's accurate. Um, in my case, it bounces uh, in uh, from the van to the shop, and uh, my setup for it is uh, over here. And I also have a, a video about setting up this uh, this miter bench. And I won't get you back where you were. Close enough. Uh, so yeah, I just want to take a few minutes to talk to you about a, a very unremarkable saw that fills a very specific purpose and does a, a very very good job um, I can't complain a bit I really can't and like I said at $220 uh, there's a lot to crawl about there really is it's, it's fine uh, this one that I'm using let me turn you so you can see it and then we'll get a closer look here in a minute this one that I'm using I've had for oh I'm guessing four years three to four years and so the reason I started with this one um, I try to remember what I was running before and it was awkward it wasn't really fitting in my van um, I, I made a transition from a nice big uh, Nissan NV to a, a quite a small uh, Ford Contour Connect and so when you get into that small van you have to do a lot of thinking about where things are going and how they're going to fit and uh, so when I started I had two criteria first one being because I'm getting old uh, I started with weight so I, I actually started with the, the the lightest saw and I, I built a list from the lightest to the, the heaviest and then the next criteria was going to be fitting in the van and uh, I'll have a little clip for you here of where it goes in my van and so it had to fit in that space so I was looking for specific dimensions and uh, so I, I came up with several saws. There, th this traditional design is, is very popular on the market. There's, there's a lot of fancy stuff now too, but this traditional style is, is still very common. So uh, I actually ended up with quite a few saws to, to, to choose from. And uh, like I said, starting from the lightest and working with my dimensions. And then once I found saws that fit, then I went back to reviews and functionality and, and how people liked them. And uh, so I, I, I hit on the skill, the skill saw for, uh, for those reasons, weight, uh, fit in my van, and uh, reviews, functionality, whether people liked them or not. And uh, I have to say, I'm, I'm really tickled. I, I wasn't sure at first, when I first bought it and first started using it, I, I was a little unsure. Uh, but after a couple of weeks, after using it a fair bit, um, I got to where I was really quite happy with it. Uh, Weight-wise, it's awesome. I didn't check, but it's probably right around 40 pounds. Uh, dimensionally, um, there's a handle goes on top. I had to take that handle off for it to fit in the, the spot in my van. But other than that, it does have the long slide. Uh, but again, that, that's partly a function of cost and keeping it short. If you get to the, to the short slides, and you're getting a lot more bulk around the, the motor and uh, this this is a very clean simple design that's very functional and it also keeps your your saw low and that was a priority for me so let me kind of get you off here somehow and we'll scoot over and have a, a closer look at the van at, <laughs> at the van at the saw itself don't be getting dizzy no throwing up there we go okay so let's see, we're looking at a 10 inch blade, it's an um, Allen key to change the blade, and there's an Allen key 
hopefully you can see it right there uh, that's on the saw so you've got the allen key right with you uh, let's see you've got a, a shadow light right here so it gives you a shadow on the blade uh, again everything is very traditional you've got the out supports your fence is adjustable on both sides uh, it does come with a clamp to hold your material down I don't like it because it's one more thing to drag around and lose and you know, it's out here in the shop somewhere I have no idea where I have added a thin kerf tape which I really really recommend it makes a huge difference this one's getting to where it might need to be replaced but uh, it works very well it installs easy and uh, it, it makes a huge difference in your cuts um, sorry if I'm slapping the camera there's a mosquito around here uh, let's see I've changed the, the um, exhaust to go on my uh, my vacuum uh, the slides again everything is very traditional you've got the the stops on your on your bevel uh, it does take a little get away <laughs> missed him again it does take a little tweaking to get everything set up and again your your fence is very traditional it's the the big allen screws and you just square it up to the blade the same as you do any other uh, it holds it very well again this moves in and out of the van and the shop and uh, I have very little trouble with having to uh, uh, make adjustments uh, just take your time getting it set up and it works fine your bevel lock is here in the back again very simple very traditional uh, there's it's, it uh, oh and up here let's see we got uh, 15 amps if you can see it I forget how many watts but it doesn't matter there's your label uh, your motors gear driven tilted gear driven so it's out of the way um, very very basic uh, 45 I think 50 degrees both ways 52 or something I think but a little over 50 it's got reminders for your your miter cuts and I have no idea what's over there for doing your your crowns again I know I keep saying it but it's very unremarkable very simple 225 30 bucks the squeeze underneath to swing it around it locks very secure um, and if you want you twist that and kind of secure it even more there's very little wiggle in the in the saw uh, very little side to side wiggle um, not sure what else to tell you it, it's a good little saw it works very very well um, and it fits my van it's easy to, to move around it, it really actually does a, a, a very very good job I am very pleased with it and uh, I, I would recommend it uh, and again like I said I wasn't quite sure at first it just took a little getting used to so uh, if you do try it then just give it a little bit of time give it a chance and uh, um, I think you'll find that uh, especially when you figure for the money when you look at the the cost of it it's uh, it works fine and a lot of you guys like to hear them run so I'm gonna take a second see if I can find a cord and get it plugged in for you to uh, so you can hear it run it is give me a sec and the other th another another thing I like about a, a traditional basic saw is that there's very little to go wrong you just don't have to worry about it it's very consistent okay let's see you can see that no I need to get some wood for the shadow there's your shadow it's nice and bright in here and you can still see it and the nice thing about a shadow there's nothing to adjust it's got a light down both sides of the blade so it's literally the shadow of the blade so it, it has to be accurate um, at least in my thinking <laughs> I don't know where you can go wrong when you're, you're just looking at a shadow shadow of the blade okay and I mean it's loud but uh, it, it works fine I always wear headphones with my with my saws anyway 
So there it is folks, the skill 10 inch dual bevel sliding compound miter saw. <laughs> And again, I do recommend it. Um, and like I said, it has a, a handle on top, but I removed it for the van. Um, that's it. Nothing much to say, but uh, for the price, it's a great saw. I hope this is a, a helpful video for you. I hope I'm uh, sharing information that's a benefit. And if so, then please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll include some links down in the uh, description below. So have a look and see what's down there. See if there's anything that uh, is helpful or interests you or uh, whatever. <laughs> so YouTube, you, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later.